this is roti this is uh, i think this is alu sabzi or maybe this is cauliflower sabzi i think and this is chana okay well it's actually called chola but yes it is also called chana Let me just pull up these blinds right here. Let's just do that. There we go. What a nice beautiful day. And as usual, no one is outside because I live in the prison known as Ontario. Doug Ford's prison, guys. This is the ghost town that I live in, okay? Literally, Ontario is a ghost town right now because of Doug Ford's stupid lockdown rules, as you all know. Fuck Doug Ford, bro. Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a single day. Wait, I hear my garage door opening. I think my dad is going out somewhere. Yeah, my dad is driving off. Okay, that was completely random. First thing I got to do is I have to actually brush my teeth and freshen up because I look like a fucking disaster right now. Like I literally look like I survived Hurricane Katrina and I barely made it out alive. Let's go and freshen up and then after that I'm going to show you what I eat in a single day. Let's do this guys, let's go! Getting out of my bed in the morning is like the, it's, it's really tough. Wow, I really shouldn't be uh, brushing my teeth and talking at the same time. I know I'm an asshole. Uh, and it probably sounds disgusting to you guys, but yeah, man, you know And talking about sleep. I actually had a really crazy dream, but let me finish brushing my teeth So last night I had a dream in which Bella Porch the TikToker, was getting chased by a monster and I was trying to save her And I don't know why the fuck I had this dream. It was very random um, probably because I was watching Bella Porch's videos uh, just yesterday or something. Maybe that's why I had this dream. I don't know. The subconscious mind works in, in crazy ways. You know, if you, if you think about something and then it just, like, that thought just sort of goes to the back of your mind and you sort of forget about it, but not really, then there's a good chance that that thought can somehow manifest in your dreams when you go to sleep because that's how the subconscious mind works. I'm going to go downstairs and eat some breakfast and... I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go guys. Where are my slippers bro? Where? Oh, there they are. Those are my slippers right there. All right, I'm coming. Okay guys, time to go downstairs and eat some breakfast. All right, so for breakfast, we're gonna have bread and Salami, chicken salami. And I think my dog is coming down, guys. Because I'm cutting sausage and he can smell it. Whenever I cut this chicken, well, it's not sausage, it's called chicken salami. Um, but yeah, whenever I cut this chicken salami, he can smell it and he comes running down. He's here guys, he's here. The man has arrived. <laughs> he's here, see? <laughs> he could, he can smell the sausage guys. Or the, the chicken salami, he can smell the chicken salami and that is why he is here. And he got a haircut. Today my dog got a haircut. Looking fresh bro, you looking fresh. But no, you cannot have my chicken salami i'm sorry bro i'm sorry and he's just like oh man if you're not gonna give it to me i'm just gonna leave fuck you and time for some bread we also need some butter all right so yeah guys we are done with our breakfast actually no we're not done yet how could i say that guys i forgot about the most important thing coffee i cannot live without coffee bro i have zero energy and zero motivation in the morning unless I get my cup of joe. So let's get my cup of joe. 
that is my dad's bar um, I don't drink any alcohol myself I used to but I have given up drinking guys all right let's take this glass and get some coffee so I still have to change my filter but yeah this is basically my uh, I, I don't know what you call it my water fountain my ice fountain if I press this button ice falls down and my dog is gonna come running back because he loves ice and this is the button for water so first step is we need some water this is the coffee powder that I love uh, I'm not promoting Tim Hortons here but I just fucking love Tim Hortons okay I actually managed to balance the spoon on top of the coffee powder guys <laughs> this is literal magic actually you know what this needs more water let's get some more water that is, I mean, I added a lot of coffee in there, but not enough water. I think that should be good. That is perfect. Okay, now time to add some milk and sugar and also some chocolate syrup. Milk in there. There we go. Beautiful. I am just going to add some sugar to this glass of coffee over here. As you can see, the spoon is still balancing on top of that coffee powder right there. <laughs> It's uh, magic, what can I say? I do have magic powers, really special magic powers. Um, so I am just gonna add some sugar to this glass right here. Uh, three spoons and the last spoon. So I just added four tablespoons of sugar in this uh, glass of coffee, which is quite a bit, but it was four half tablespoons. They were not four full tablespoons, they were four half tablespoons, which is still pretty fucking bad considering the fact that my dad has diabetes and I should really watch the amount of sugar that I uh, that I consume on a regular basis because I'm also at risk of getting diabetes because of my dad, but YOLO, who gives a fuck man, you only live once, I gotta have my sugar, you feel me? So I added some sugar in that glass right now. I'm gonna add my special ingredient, chocolate syrup. One second, guys. Let me just find the chocolate syrup. And here it is. So I'm going to show you what I do. Let me just balance the spoon magically on top of the co coffee powder again. As you can see, it's right there. Um, this is what I do. I just take the... This is Nesquik chocolate syrup, right? So I add one drop, two drops, right? And then another drop, three drops. I think I added a little bit more than three drops there, but you get the point roughly three drops of uh, chocolate syrup and then finally after that you just gotta mix it and we are done man I honestly feel like I should become a barista I think I would be a pretty good fucking barista hello sir welcome to Starbucks what can I get for you I'd like to get a grande cafe mocha please absolutely and are you going to be paying by cash or credit debit actually sure sir your total is five dollars eighty six cents you can just tap right there you got it Oh, uh, sir, the payment didn't go through. Uh, do you have any cash on you? The fuck? That's weird. Uh, no, I don't have cash. Oh, let me guess. You're not broke either, right? <laughs> no, I'm not broke. Get out of my store. Guys, doesn't that look so cool? Like, the coffee powder is sort of falling all the way down to the bottom of the glass. It kind of looks like a lava lamp. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. And my dog wants to go outside, so that's why he's crying. So I'm just gonna let him go outside. He likes to go outside in the morning just to, you know, pee and, and stuff. But okay, today he's just chilling. <laughs> today he's just... He's just sunbathing, I guess. That's what he's doing right now. You crazy dog. We are done. Another thing I have for uh, breakfast is this. Kirkland Multivitamin Gummies. These things are really delicious. And it literally just tastes like candy. And I just have like two or three of these. Uh, in the morning, you know. All right, now we just need to have some almonds. I always take a handful of almonds for with my breakfast. All right, so just gonna take some almonds and then that's it. Our breakfast is gonna be complete. Gonna take a handful. Oh, one just randomly popped up. Just some chicken salami, some almonds, some bread with toast. I would have also eaten a banana, but today there's no bananas in the house. And finally, this beautiful cup of iced coffee. That's my breakfast, guys. All right, guys. I am just going to uh, eat my breakfast right now and watch some YouTube videos. And as you can see, my dog also wants to join me because my dog also wants to eat my breakfast. No, you can come up later. I'm eating my food right now. Oh, I think I'll just start recording in like a couple of hours when I have my 
lunch or or maybe a snack whatever comes first oh what's up guys i have just spent the past 20 minutes editing this vlog and let me tell you something Video editing fucking sucks, bro. It's so annoying. I hate video editing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm good at video editing and I, I don't mind doing video editing when I have to. But I just, it's, it's, it's a very boring process for me, to be 100% honest with you. The program that I use is Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. And let me tell you something about Adobe Premiere Pro, okay? This program has a lot of features, but it crashes a lot, bro. It crashes a lot. And at first I thought that there was something wrong with my computer. I thought that maybe my computer just did not have enough memory space. But you know what? I have spoken to uh, a few other people and some of my friends have also experienced this exact same problem. Some of my friends have told me that Premiere Pro crashes on their computers as well. So I don't really think that it's a problem with my computer. I think this is Premiere Pro's fault. Adobe, get your fucking shit together. Okay, that's all I have to say. That was my little rant. I'm gonna continue editing. I kept editing for two more hours and then I realized I needed a snack. This is what I'm gonna eat right now. It's called moong dal. I'm just gonna cut this packet open. One sec. Uh, actually, I don't need to use scissors. At least I don't think so. There is a line over there. So I'm gonna try to tear this with my hands first if I can, and I was not able to, shit. I'm gonna have to use the scissors, shit. Yeah, this is okay. Or should, uh, what's that? Here we go. It's delicious, guys. That's good. Put it in one down. Because they say put it in the lower shelf, that should be in the middle. Yeah. Wish I could show it to you guys. This is what it looks like, this is moon dog. This is roti, this is, uh, I think this is alu sabzi or maybe this is cauliflower sabzi, I think. And this is chana, okay? Well, it's actually called chola, but yes, it is also called chana. So that's basically what I'm eating. I'm eating two rotis and roti, bro. Roti is delicious for all those non-Indian viewers out there. Roti is actually delicious. Uh, roti is just bread. It's, it's made of flour. It's kind of like a tortilla but it's like a softer version of tortilla it's so good so this is how i do it right i just take a little piece of the roti scoop up some of the you know the sabzi and then you put it in your mouth simple it's like a sauce you know like a sauce or a dip that's that's how i can describe it i'm eating really fast because I still have to finish editing that video and also because I'm fucking starving, bro. <laughs> and that's the other reason. Mm. So for dinner, I decided to eat some macaroni and cheese and my dad actually made the macaroni and cheese. Um, as you can see, it looks very fucking delicious. And yeah, man, I'm just getting hungry looking at it. Can't wait to eat this. I'm just gonna... Uh, pour some in a bowl and I'm gonna start eating this right now guys. I also uh, eat these protein bars This one over here. It's called builders protein. That's the name. It has about 20 grams of protein Yo, what's up guys? I'm just eating some macaroni and cheese and just as I said that I dropped a macaroni on the ground Man, I was born clumsy. What can I say? And plus my star sign is Sagittarius So it kind of makes sense that I am cl clumsy but anyways, I am eating some macaroni and cheese, guys. Mmm, delicious. This is some homemade macaroni that my my dad made. Um, it's not homemade, actually. I shouldn't say homemade. He bought it from Walmart. Um, but it's very easy to make. You just have to boil uh, some water, add some butter inside, add the, the pasta inside, and then add the cheese powder. Mix it all together, let it boil for like 10-20 minutes, and voila, you have macaroni and cheese. It's as simple as that. But anyways, I should stop eating. I, what the fuck? 
I should stop talking and start eating more. That's what I actually wanted to say. Mm. Cheers, guys. This is another thing that I'm going to be eating, this protein bar. I'm going to be eating this protein bar after I finish my macaroni and cheese. This is 20 grams of protein. I try my best to have at least three of these every single day. Um, but usually I only end up having like about two of these because they are super, super filling, bro. Like, trust me, these are like super small, right? But don't be fooled by the size. These things will fill you the fuck up. Like they are really filling because they're 20 grams of protein. And I think this flavor, this flavor is, what is this flavor? Chocolate mint. So it's actually quite an awesome flavor. I love uh, chocolate mint. That's basically what I eat in a single day. Be sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive comedy videos and other short films. I even do very special live streams on Patreon where we, you know, react to different kinds of videos and different things that we find on the internet. I also do these collaborative live streams on my Patreon where you can give me movie ideas and we can pretty much create like a movie story together. And if I really like your movie story and I end up taking your movie story and turning it into an actual film, then guess what? I will actually give you credit in the film as well as a co-writer. So my Patreon is pretty fucking awesome. You should definitely check it out. Patreon.com slash Axel Dobbins. That's all I gotta say. Until next time, peace out guys and stay positive. Peace out.